Hey guys, it's me, Jamonius. And here's just a little random video, just me ranting. I am now going to probably call this the J Rant video where I'll just talk random shit, review some of the shit that's going on out in the world, what I could be excited for, yada yada yada. Well, drawing around a picture of myself. Or of J Monius, anyway. And yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I come home from work. And the only thing that I was looking forward to was the whole Pokemon X and Y of the release of new Mega Forms of Mega Charizard and Mega Blastoise and. Mega Venusaur, and I was like, uh, interesting, but my only concern is, it's just, good lord, I hope that all these new poke releases or whatever is just, god damn, I hope they're all not going to be mega forms and shit, because like, you know, I'd like to see newer pokes too, like, sure, Mega Evolution's great and all, but, god damn, we need some of the other poke, new pokes to be revealed. New abilities to play with. Yeah, I'm big into the whole competitive gaming thing and pokes and shit. Random drama. Da, 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 da. I need something to listen to. Uh, excuse me for a second here. I'm just going to go and open up my radio here I really need to organize this shit there we go push that to the side let's see other poke news it's mostly yeah that was like the only thing that really caught my attention was that Pokemon nonsense and I don't know what the fuck I'm listening to uh, let's see what other Shit, have I been looking into lately? Uh, let's see. Nothing big. Seems like my life nowadays is just Pokemon or some other thing. Been slowly, slowly mo losing motivation day by day to do playthroughs of videos just because it requires so much effort these days. Like, Jesus. Super dynamic action pose or something. Let's see. Um, I guess the only anime that I've been paying attention to lately is Attack on Titan. Epic fucking show. I recommend you guys watch it. Let's see. My my thoughts on that anime is, is it, it's it's fucking awesome. The action scenes are actually quite amazing. But uh, like me me and Sean usually talk about each episode after. Uh, we watch after it's aired and we watch it. It usually takes us like between like a day for both of us to watch and we review everything. Right now it's at it's at an interesting arc where they, they where they encounter like another enemy that's like similar to the main character and shit. But, but yeah, and everyone's trying to figure out who the identity of this character is. I think I may know who it is. Cause just, but judging from the way the opening title screen is, it's 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 a huge giveaway. If if people haven't figured it out, then yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything. But I do enjoy that anime though. It's very good. The only thing is, it's just humanity is just getting the worst of it. I swear. I'm, I'm starting to get this idea lately about that show is don't connect don't get connected to anybody because if you do you you will fucking be disappointed because they'll it most likely be get, 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 they'll get killed off and shit and then it make, like makes me go like be all like Grrr. it's like why the fuck man that's like that's horrible! Why would you kill off that character? It's no different than when I get devoted to a character in an RPG. It makes me go like, Ugh, I put in so much fucking time for this character, and the guy just ups and goes and either dies or some other bullshit fucking thing. Like, 
That's what that's what that's sort of killing my desire to keep watching the show, but at the same time, it get keep, keeps getting me more interested. And yeah, fucking anime. This is like the only an big anime show that I've been watching lately. All right, what other big news? Let's see, I've been wa I'm wanting, for playthrough-wise, there hasn't really been a lot that's been catching my attention, so mostly doing the playthroughs with uh, Azura Cumulative and White Neko has been more or less the uh, big thing, but the thing that I might be attempting to do during the next few, during the next month or so is going to be uh, Custom Robo, but I'm a little iffy on that one still, but I'm going to give it a shot during the next couple weeks and see my uh, view on that. The other one I really want to do is uh, DuckTales for the uh, for Steam because I got because I usually buy a lot of Steams and want to attempt to do playthroughs of it, but it just requires so much motivation and shit nowadays. And speaking of DuckTales, the company that's been making them the those games lately has been catching my attention a, like a lot more frequently. Cause they, cause I just read on uh, Silicon Era that uh, fucking they're making another reboot game of uh, Shantae. I hope I pronounced that right. And uh, yeah, Shantae, and they just recently released another a Shantae game called like Shantae Risky's Revenge and shit on Steam as well. And uh, yeah, Cumulative is like a big fan of that series too. And uh, I wanted, I wanted to try it out myself, so I might actually try Risky's Revenge later on down the road and see how it's like. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, WayForward has been doing a lot of games that are, like, just look amazing when they give them an HD remake. It's just, holy shit. Makes me all go like, whoa, that is so cool. I want to see more HD remakes of things. I'll give him a super smiley face. Get him all over the top and shit. Ha ha ha. I am Jamonius. I can do things. Now let's go give him color. What other big shit is going on in the world of worlding, worlding. Fuck, I should have did the Gentleman Jamonius thing fr from uh, Ozra's video from the other day. Because that was actually an amusing idea. Because uh, when he was talking about that one song, or whatever it was called, uh, Four Springs by... I can't remember the name of the, of the uh, band that does that actual song. It's, it's very famous. You see it on, like, on a lot of parody videos, too. But yeah, fuck, I should have done that. I have no clue what the fuck I'm listening to. Yeah, if, if, if it's like a custom song made by some band, I have to figure out who it is and give them credit. Because, you know, Superman. And another person playing around the game. And you get to see how I draw shit. Because, you know, yeah. I wonder if I'll be able to finish this in 15 minutes. I don't know what I'm listening to. What's the next big thing? Fuck. It's my only big focus lately has just been Pokemon. Fuck. Oh god. Let's see what other games have I been. Well, yeah, I guess Tales of Exilium. Zillion. To my surprise, I still haven't done a playthrough of that because usually I cover a lot of the. I used to I, like I cover RPG playthroughs all the time. I just that that's another thing that's just been really damping on my uh, motivation lately. It's just I have no desire to do playthroughs anymore. I gotta I gotta find that uh, spark again. I remember I, I I would have been all over doing Tales of Zillia. Zillia. I don't know how the fuck you pronounce that fucking name. I don't know, I'm just slowly losing my edge. Maybe I need more Pepsi in, in my in my uh, system or something. I doubt it, because I drink enough of it already. But, uh, fuck. And it wasn't even that bad of a game. I guess my 
my main gripe about that about that game in particular is uh, it's just it feels like a another rehash of the same formula between uh, Tales of Symphonia and Tales of fucking Fantasia. Some fucking punch out thing, but yeah, fuck. Yeah, that's all it really is. It's just it's just the same fucking thing. You're in two different worlds and shit, and it's just it's Tales of Symphonia all over again. Like, I, like my favorite character in that game was Alvin. He's like, spoiler wise, he's he's a bit of an asshole, and I actually, and that's what makes him great, actually. Yeah, him and fucking uh. Leia. Those two were like my favorite characters, and I used Al and I used Alvin more than I used the main character, fucking Jude. And I don't know why. I just can't stand Jude. Jude pisses me off to no fucking end. I don't know. I'm just so. I guess I'm more used to using sword-based characters because when I remember when I was playing Tales of Legendia for PS2, I was fucking uh, always using the heroine Chloe more than a uh, Senel. I don't know. Like, I, I, I like Fist Fighter characters and shit, it's just, uh, like Farrah from Tales of Eternia, like, she was, like, my favorite Fist Fighter in the series, but I don't use her, though. So having a Fist Fighter as the main hero just kills my, uh, need to want to continue it. Random drawing, random drawing, random drawing, don't know who made the song. I heard my songs just let me know so I can like credit them when it's playing because I'm playing this thing using this thing called uh, Omni Wave because uh, I usually have this thing on whenever I'm doing random shit like playing Team Fortress 2. I always have the thing on when I'm playing Team Fortress 2. It's funny too whenever because sometimes whenever I'm in like this dire situation, it actually it conven if for some weird reason it plays like it, it'll play. A rant, like whatever song is playing, it sometimes plays like some epic song when I'm in the middle of like some crazy fucking shit or whatever. Like if I'm having some epic sniper duel against someone. So let it be known whenever you listen to music, especially when you're having it on like shuffle or something, it'll conveniently put it on a theme for you to match your current situation. At least that's what it does for me anyway. Same thing applies whenever I'm at work. Because sometimes when I'm working, I because I work at a, I, I, my job is stocking shit, and and I, I remember this one time when I was stocking shit, uh, this one theme that plays when you're playing uh, Catherine. It's I think it's like plays in most of the boss themes, and it's playing, and I'm here I am stocking shows, and I'm just realizing this feels so fucking similar. I think it's like Murgo Saki or something. I can't remember the fucking name of it, but yeah. might make it in time. It's like 13 fucking... I've got like two minutes left before I can call it quits on this. Fuck. Pre-buffering! So happy to be here, because I am Jay Molinos. Fuck. Yeah, definitely can't wait for X and Y though. That's like my that's the biggest game of uh, the year for me, because I'm gonna be having so much fun with that. Like last year, it was it was it was hilarious, because me, uh, Azra, Cumulative, White Neko, Omi G. All went to fucking our, the the store that was that's near my place, and we all and we went right up to the clerk. He's like, "Yeah, we know black and white is too. Get it out, and we're fucking buying it." And, and the guy like looked, and he's like, what, "What what are you talking about? Like, we know you have it. Like, we see it right there. Just take it out so we can pay for it." And then we all go back, and then we all go back to my place, and we like play it for the like the majority of the fucking day. Like it, it, it's it. Like for so, like Pokemon seems to be like a be a big thing for us nowadays because we were like one of our older goals was to have like something similar like we did with uh, Pokemon uh, uh, the fourth gen games with, when we did the uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution shit 
and uh, oh shit, I'll just time up. Yeah, with the Pokemon Battle Revolution, and yeah. Fuck, I'm not gonna make it. Oh well. Oh well, the. I guess that's as much I can be able to rant about for this uh, segment, so uh. I try to get most of it done. Ha ha, I am happy! Oh well. Uh, I guess I'll do see it in, in a different rant sometime later on through the year or something. Bye. <laughs>